Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how um, people are how they sell themselves in the media industry and how they sell themselves to the rich and how the Freemasons go by it. Okay, so this is the first step on how they go by it. I'm going to teach you how they do it and how the people get into the industry to get rich and famous. And to seek their own fame and glory. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to pray in the Holy Ghost Spirit to let the Holy Ghost Spirit to use me to edify my mouth to preach His true light and His living word. Dear Heavenly Father, use my mouth to edify it, to preach the true light and the true gospel of the living word, to show people the truth that you are the only God that we shall serve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. This is where it's at. We're going to start with um, the denying of Jesus Christ. Matthew 10, verse 30. I think that's what that is. Matthew 10, verse 30. Yeah, okay, verse 32. Okay, this is it. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever deny me before men, will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I come, and think not that I come, send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. This is God. This is Jesus Christ talking. So he's saying, whoever deny him, he will deny before his father. This is not good. Okay. When people are selling their soul into the rich to get famous, the first thing the Freemasons tell them to do is to deny the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the first step. That's where they can be blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life and be written out. So they will be worshiping the mark of the beast. They will be worshiping Satan. They will be using hand gestures and Freemason hand gestures and Illuminati hand signs to worship Satan. Okay? So the first step is to get to deny the Lord Jesus Christ. The second step is oaths. Okay? This is the second step, oaths. Let's go to James 5, 10, 5, 12. I already preached about oaths, but I'm just going to clarify it into you again anyway. So you can see how the progress is when it comes to getting into the music industry or any type of celebrity business or the rich period. Okay. Of course, you got people denying it online, but you know, the ones that are denying it is already in it. They don't want you to know because they're so secretive, so, so they say. But it's a lot of things that's not as secretive because God has already revealed that these people are doing it. Okay. So let's see, James, let me see, James back here. There we go. James 5, 12. First thing they get you to do is to deny the Lord. So once you deny Jesus, that's not good. God will deny you before his father. Okay, so you have been given up to a reprobate mind at this moment. You have been given up to Satan. Here we go. Now, you plead in oaths. God said, but above all things, my brother, swear not neither neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any earth, but let your yea be yea, or your nay be nay, we should fall into condemnation. Numbers 32. Okay, don't plead no other oath unless you fall into condemnation. Okay, let's see, Numbers, let's see if I can get to Numbers. I'm going to teach y'all, show y'all how they sell in these sales. Because a lot of people online are like, oh, how the mini industry, how are these working for Satan, how? You know, you got people that's ignorant to the fact because they're worshiping these idols and they can't see past it. So, I'm, to, I'm going to show you how. 32. Okay. 30. Verse 2. Okay, here we go. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, it shall not break his word, he shall do according to all the mouth, I mean, to 
do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Let's read that again. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, I swear an oath to bind a soul, bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Okay? This is how they sell their soul. First, they deny the Lord Jesus Christ, which God already denied them people before his father because they denied him. That's not good already. Second, they are pleading oaths to Satan, making blood oaths to him, binding their soul with him. Okay, therefore, they his soul, their soul has been taken and has been given up to the beast. Okay, this is how they sell in their soul into the rich. Okay, of course, these people ain't going to tell you how it is, but I'm going to tell you. Okay, next, blasphemy. Blasphemy. Let's go to Matthew 12. This is gets this gets even more worse. <laughs> it's already worse that they denied God first thing, right? Blasphemy. Okay. Blasphemy. Uh, Matthew 12. 31, 32. Okay. Here we go. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost Spirit, Holy Ghost, shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven. But him, whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. Him, neither in this world, neither in this world to come. Again, and then it says, either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by its fruit. Old generations of vipers, how good ye, being evil, speak good things, for out of abundance of the heart of the mouth of the heart the mouth speaketh. Okay. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of evil treasure bring forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give a clout thereof in the day of judgment, for thou for by the words thou shalt be justified, but by the word thou shalt be condemned. Therefore, God is telling you. Do not blaspheme against his holy name. Now, one thing, after they deny the Lord Jesus Christ, which I showed y'all how they do that, they deny him. Okay, God they already denied him for the Father because they denied him, which just ain't good already. Plead, They plead oaths, make blood oaths. They prick their finger or hand, would not make blood oaths and sign it with blood to Satan to bind with it. They made an oath and a vow to it. Which is not good to not do. Do not make oaths and vows to this this beast. Now, after they done did that, they then blaspheme against the Holy Ghost Spirit. Now, you got videos on them doing that. You got Kanye West doing it. You got Mr. Gaga, Lady Gaga, who's a transgender, by the way, blaspheming the Holy Ghost Spirit on stage. Okay? This is how they sell in themselves. Okay, this is how, this is called the wicked. This is called Satanists. They are selling themselves to Satan, bonding their soul with it. These are wicked. These people are already denied the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, you praying for them ain't going to work because God do not listen to heathen prayer. Okay, I'm letting y'all see something. He already said, do not pray as the heathens do and in the synagogues, for they think they shall be heard of their much speaking, but pray in supplication unto him. Therefore, he already knew these people were going to be heathens and against his holy name. Therefore, these are wicked people and they are serving Satan. Okay. So y'all praying for these famous people and these rich people. They are already children of Satan. Okay. Now, let's go to Mark 8.36. This is where you don't want to lose your soul at. Okay, Mark 8.36, spraying this in depth so y'all can see, it says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore should be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed. When he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. Bingo. Again. That shows you there. 
that they are losing their soul to the beast. And God said, they will be made ashamed and they are sinful and wicked generation and adulterous and sinful generation. Okay. And they're exchanging their soul. Okay. God, uh, Satan is using money, which is made out of fabric, by the way. Fact is made out of cotton and something else. Think cotton, polyester, something like that. If you look up what money is made out of, it is made out of fabric. And they make this out of the World Banks and Trade Centers. World Bank Centers. World Bank. Okay. And when they make this money, they are making it. And you notice the symbols in the God we trust. First of all, the question is what God they trust in. Okay. See, y'all don't y'all don't ask that. What God are they trusting? They're not trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you look at the symbols, you'll see on the pyramid, you'll see the dollars of uh, the one eye symbolism, you'll see the Baphomet, you will see that on the American dollar. Okay. Now, this this money that they presented to you and they made themselves at these world banks. They got gold there too. They made themselves at these world banks. They getting you to idolize it. So you can exchange your soul. Now Satan knows your soul is worth more than price. Okay. He knows that your soul is worth more than that, ever, that money will ever, ever will be. Because if he can get your soul, he can bring you to hell along with him. Therefore, he is exchange, making you exchange your soul for money. Okay. So anybody that's wise enough will know not to do that. No, no, not to go and sell yourself for money. No, not to do go that way. But if you're not wise enough and you are so greedy, okay, you are so greedy, you will be stupid enough and ignorant enough to sell your own freaking soul to Satan and to come with like them, okay? And these people are so wicked at heart, they don't have no remorse in killing you, okay? They'll sacrifice you in a minute. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all see something here. They, they deal with, they don't sacrifice children. They don't kill many people. These are children of Satan you're dealing with. And they are not, they are not nice. They're not nice when you sell your soul. You are like they puppet on their string once you be had. Okay? So, God speaks there. He tells you, don't lose your soul. Don't you exchange for it. Okay? Now we're going to go to money. Let's go to 1 Timothy. I'm letting you see how they sell in themselves out here. So y'all can see and wake up a little bit. Because see, it seems like people are not totally woke. Oh, how come these people... See, y'all so much idolizing these people. Y'all can't really see if y'all just take your eyes off of them and look at towards the light. Y'all will see that these people are in with God. And you will see that cursing and all that backbiting, homosexuality... All that worldly crap they're doing in the music media world. You would know these things are not of the Lord. Okay? You would know. You wouldn't have to question how. Because it's already written that it's against God. Okay? It's just like y'all just so blinded by the, by, the, by the satanic world. And they got y'all like that. You know, Satan is deceiving from God to mow God. So y'all are blinded by him. And in a great delusion. So why y'all think these people, y'all can't see past these people being with Satan. But they are with Satan. Okay, I gotta look up 1 Timothy here. Okay, 1 Timothy 17.41. Let's go back here. I know it's back here. Okay, there we go. 1 Timothy. And what chapter I said it is? 6 verse 10. I'm already on it. Here we go. Now a lot of people don't like this verse. A lot of people don't. As much as I don't preach this verse, a lot of people do not like it. Okay? For the love of money is the root of all kind of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, which is the Bible, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Okay? They had erred from the faith. They have erred from this word. And 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 went horn after, lust after money, loving the money, okay? They have air from this faith here. They don't seek Jesus no more, okay? Which y'all not. 
Notice y'all all against the word of God. Okay, y'all not really seeking this word. Y'all are seeking more money than y'all are seeking this word. So y'all have conveyed it away from it to seeking money. And Satan knows that y'all love money so much. Okay, rappers, all they rap about is, yeah, I got money. Look at my money. I'm rich and famous. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Don't you know they rap like that to get y'all in there? Yeah, y'all seeing the glamour and the glitz. And let me tell you, these, these people ain't happy behind the scenes. They are being used up in MK Ultra. They are being used up by satanic priests. They are being used by witches. Okay? But they trying to lure you because that's they that's the game plan. That's they that's they, they that's they, that's how they do you to get you in there and think it's okay to be accepted this lifestyle. Once you in, you in. Okay? They know that. They don't want to go to hell alone. <laughs> They, they are that selfish to make y'all think that all this glamour and bliss is all good and dandy. It's not. Because as you can see, a lot of celebrities are dying. And they're dying one by one if you're not noticing it. They are killing them one by one. Sacrificing them to Satan one by one. And much as they're sacrificing them, they put it on the news. Oh, they died of natural cause. Oh, they don't know they deaf by now. Let me tell you, when they lie like that, they know they deaf. Okay, the autopsy they got their special autopsies for these celebrities, and they know they death right off the bat. They have sacrificed them to Satan. Okay, these are Satanists you're dealing with. They are very corrupted at heart. Okay, so love and money is the root of all kinds of evil. So we already established denying Jesus Christ is not good. He would deny you. You will play pleading an oath. That's not good. To Satan, bind his soul with it. Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, unforgivable. Um, then you already deny Jesus, yeah, okay. Love of money, it's not good, okay. You and then you're exchanging your soul for it, losing your soul for it, which is not good. This is how they sell in themselves. Now, I'm gonna go to the verse Matthew 4. Jesus Christ taught us how not to give in to Satan advances like that, okay? He taught us when he was tempted in the garden how to not give in to his plea to seek fame and fortune and the glory of this world. So here we go. What, 4, 1 through 11? Here we go. It says, Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made to bread. But he answered and said, I is written. No, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set it him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, it shall give his angels charge concerning thee. In their hands they shall bear thee up, and least in any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus said unto him, It is written, Again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taking him up into exceeding high mountain and shewed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Now, this is where Satan is a great tempter now, you guys. He will show you all this glory and saying, ooh, look at this. You can have all of that. You can have all this fame and fortune. You can have all this money. You can have all this riches. You can have all this land. You can have everything if you bow down to me. So, this is how he said it. Again, the devil take it up into exceeding high mountain and shewed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and said to him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. See, Satan tempts in Jesus. Now, Jesus already know he was going to do this, okay? But Satan is tempting Jesus to worship him. He will offer all this, okay? This is how he get people to fall. And this is how the rich are sucked up into that, okay? Now, Jesus has said, now he answered him, then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaving him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. 
This is where Jesus told him, we shall worship the Lord Jesus Christ only. Okay? Only God. God taught us not to give in to Satan advances and not to give in to his, to, to his offers. Okay, you see what Satan offered, offered Jesus? All the kingdoms. Now, wait a minute. Jesus is God. Okay, he created everything. Okay, he created him too. <laughs> he created Satan. So, Satan tempting God like that, he's bold. He's very bold. He's very bold. And he tells Satan, he, he tells God, to worship him. Okay. Now. You'll be wise enough to be like Jesus. Be like God now. To say no. We shall worship Jesus Christ always. And not to go that way. But see the people that are greedy. They are going to deny God. To get into that famous lifestyle. Okay. And this is what they do. They teach us the idea. To deny Jesus Christ. Which is the life. Because you have to deny the life. To get into the famous elite, the rich, the wicked, and the corrupted. Because Satan is of death. Satan is stiff, is strictly of death. This is why they dying in there. Because once you sell your soul, you, you dead. You are simply dead inside. Okay? You are done. Okay? So, God is for life. Jesus Christ is for life. Satan is death. So, once they sell their soul, they are dead. Their soul is taken. This is how the famous sell they sell. Okay. So I already showed y'all the steps on how they get in there. And the Freemason site already got on their site salvation without Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, I have experienced when I was uh, younger, uh, I wanted to be a background dancer. And one of the girls, she was a... Uh, a Virgin Island background dancer for celebrities. I have experienced that this girl, she came and told me I couldn't go into that business talking about no Lord Jesus Christ. Shaking it in there. She said she marked God and said, ha, ha, ha. You can't come in this business talking about no Lord Jesus Christ. You'll have to deny his name. I told her, well, I'm not going to deny his name if I have to do that. I said, I'm going to continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ always. And I left her alone. I hung up with her and the other girl who was a lesbian. She was a lesbian. And I hung up with both of them. Okay? Because where they were going, they were going the wrong way, serving the wrong God. And they were mocking Jesus' name. She was mocking Jesus' name and laughing at the idea that I mentioned Jesus Christ. She danced for celebrities. She was a background dancer. Okay? I'm a witness of that too. I have experienced it. So, yes, this is how they get in there. They will tell you to deny Jesus Christ, first thing. Do not do it, okay? You got these Satanists on, online, they're telling you differently, saying the glamour is okay. It's not, okay? So, I'm just showing you the steps. This is how they sell their soul, okay? Always serve God, always. Okay, people? Jesus Christ is God.